Welcome to the Microsoft Word References and Workflows Participation Project. In this project, we are going to cover how to insert a table of contents, insert endnotes and footnotes, add captions, use cross-references, manage and insert citations, insert a bibliography, enable tracking of changes, review tracked changes, and compare document differences. To begin, you should have downloaded two files, carol.docx and oldertext.docx. We will open carol.docx. The first step we wish to do is insert a new page after the cover page and before the title, The Looking Glass House. Move the cursor to the text in front of The Looking Glass House, click the Insert ribbon, select Blank Page. On the blank page we've inserted, we wish to insert a table of contents. Click on your blank page, click on the References ribbon, select Table of Contents, and select Automatic Table 2. Next, we wish to add a footnote in the Jabberwocky poem. At the beginning of our Jabberwocky poem, we wish to insert a footnote for the word Brillig. Select Brillig. Under the References ribbon, select Insert Footnote. The footnote we wish, wish to add is, according to Humpty Dumpty, Brillig is the time dinner is to be boiled. Next, we wish to add a footnote near the end of the Jabberwocky poem. Select the text, Chortled. Under the References ribbon, Insert Footnote. And the text we wish to add is the first use of the word chortled in the English language. Next, we wish to insert an endnote to clarify the title of the book. In our introductory paragraph, we wish to insert an endnote. Under the References ribbon, click Insert Endnote. And our endnote is Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There. Next, we wish to add captions to our pictures. Select the kitten picture, right click, insert caption, and the caption we wish to use is an illustration. If we look in the labels, choose illustration, and the caption will be illustration one colon kitten playing with yarn. Click OK. Next, we wish to add a caption to the Jabberwock picture. Select the Jabberwock picture, right click, insert caption. Our caption will be an illustration. The caption is illustration 2 colon the Jabberwock. Click OK. Next, we wish to add captions to our charts. Select the word frequency chart, right click, insert caption, change the label to figure, and we want our caption to be figure one colon word frequencies. Click OK. Next, we wish to add a caption to our letter frequency chart. Right click on the chart, insert caption, 
Label is figure. Our caption is figure two colon letter frequencies. Click OK. We wish to center the text of this caption. On the home ribbon, in the paragraph group, choose center. Finally, we wish to add a caption above the table at the end of our document. Select the table, right click, insert caption, change the label to table, and our label is table one we want the position of this caption to be above the selected item. Click OK. And under the home ribbon, in the paragraph group, center. Next, we wish to modify the caption formatting style to specify there should be no first line indent. In the home ribbon, in the styles group, select caption, right click, Modify, Format, Paragraph, change the special to None. Click OK. To apply this, click OK. Next, we wish to add a cross-reference to one of our figures. Scroll up to the beginning of your document, and in the third paragraph, where the instructions say insert cross-reference, type open parenthesis C space close parenthesis, move the cursor inside of the parentheses, go to the references ribbon, in the captions group select cross-reference, in the reference type choose figure, select figure 1 word frequencies, and change the reference to only label and number. Click insert. Close your dialog box and remove the tag. Next, we wish to manage citations and bibliographies. In our citations and bibliography group, select manage sources. We wish to create a new source. The type of source will be a book. The author is Lewis Carroll. The title of the work is Through the Looking Glass. It was published in 1871 in London by Macmillan. Click OK, close, now we wish to use the citation in the first paragraph. Click behind the L and Carol, click insert citation, select Lewis Carroll. Next, we wish to insert a bibliography style bibliography. Scroll to the end of the document where our endnote is. Click above the endnote. And in the citations and bibliography area, ensure the style is set to MLA, select bibliography, and select bibliography. We now wish to enable tracking of changes. Under the review ribbon, in the changes group, click track changes. We wish to set the tracking option to display no markup so the final edited version of the document is shown. We now wish to make additional changes to the document so we can review how changes are tracked. Select the entire document and align the text as justified.
Fold the text of each poem in the Jabberwock section. Delete the second paragraph in the kittens section. We wish to add a new second paragraph. In the track changes section, set the tracking option to display all markup so we can review all edits made to the document. We wish to accept all changes to the document. We wish to stop tracking changes. Now we would like to compare our documents. Using the compare tool, Compare the original document older text.docx with our current revised document. The original document will be our older text. And our revised document will be our carol.